Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I've been doing build to build upgrade videos for the Windows 10 technical preview. Now, this is build 9879, and if you haven't seen the progress over the last several builds, I would encourage you to check out the playlist and look elsewhere in my channel. Uh, ever since the very first tech preview, each time a new version, a new build comes out, I go and do a test. Now, if you're not familiar with Windows uh, 8, 8.1, and the new style of uh, applications, do check out the playlist on how to use Windows 8. I've got a lot of great videos. Now, let's take a look at some differences. And this is just things that I've observed and things that I've heard about that are new in build 9879. First thing I noticed was that you see how the icons here in the lower corner usually have black text around them. They've changed. This is not the standard uh, battery button there. So something's going on there. That's new. They've moved the notifications over. Still a little bit uh, weird. They've also assigned a hotkey, uh, Window A, on that one. You can right click and snooze them. This here, hide notifications for some number of hours. That's the same as opening up the charms menu and saying hide notifications here. So that's interesting. You've got both the full screen kind of touch style and then the desktop style menus being duplicated. Another thing we noticed, and I believe it was Ed Bott who told me about this, is inside of disk cleanup, if you run that as administrator, down at the bottom you've got a new thing. Now disk cleanup has been a great tool for freeing up space, especially on 64 gig and smaller devices. I've got a Dell venue uh, that I'm looking forward to running this on. Now includes system compression. It compresses Windows binaries and program files. So I'm going to go ahead and test that, but it appears that that's going to squish C colon Windows and below and probably C colon program files and below. It's estimating I'm going to free up uh, seven gigs. That's pretty significant. And one of the things that's interesting about that, you might say, well, gosh, compression is going to slow my computer down. Well, it turns out that the decompression is not that big of a deal with modern i3, 5, and 7 processors. The amount of space that you're going to get back is definitely going to outweigh any kind of overhead for that decompression. So that's a really useful thing, especially for smaller devices, which makes me feel like Windows 10 is still going to, uh, to work great on lower spec devices. I also noticed immediately this rather unattractive open uh, open folder here. They, they, they're messing around with the icons. They're trying different things. It's very inconsistent. You'll notice you've got an old style, a new style icon here. You've got a older style icon here and here. You've got a new style kind of weird icon here. They're definitely trying different things. Um, it's not working for me, but you know, you have to give them credit for putting in newer stuff and giving us newer access and quicker access than ever before. Here's an old style versus new style, open and closed. I, I like that they're they're not uh, shying away from this. And, you know, we're on the fast track here. We're seeing all sorts of interesting stuff. Uh, one other thing that's worth pointing out is ordinarily you click here and you get PC settings. I'll take that and then press Window Right. But there is also this weird thing called ZPC settings. It's almost like another PC settings where they are, it appears, porting or using it as a playground for other uh, settings, some of which have a little star by them, as if they are their own separate apps, placeholders, things like speech. It's like they're pulling all of the control panel things from the classic control panel. This is a funny one, Windows Defender for Justice. Uh, over into the full screen option, including things like install feature that were only available uh, in a desktop before. Another thing that you'll notice, of course, you've seen in previous builds that we can resize stuff, but this used to be a dot, dot, dot. Now it's changed to what they call the hamburger. This is a very common UI metaphor, and you click on the hamburger. Think about that as being like more than the system menu. You got the system menu, the hamburger here, you got minimize, maximize, and close. This lets you get into things like settings. It's a little bit of a weird experience because here you're in thinking about desktop mode. You click there and suddenly you're looking at things in uh, touch mode. I think that as we move towards what they call convergence, where we'll have uh, the ability to switch between an attached keyboard laptop mode and a touch-based tablet mode, once that shows up, things will become a lot more consistent. 
we've still got the virtual desktop. I still can't figure out how to uh, change the background on a per desktop basis, which is uh, a little bit weird, but I can only imagine that they would let us uh, do that at some point. There is word also that there was going to be uh, some some kind of touch hotkeys for moving between these. There are hotkeys for switching. There you go. Switching between virtual desktops. Uh, I really think that one of the killer features on a Mac is that four finger swipe. And while I do have a two finger swipe for scrolling, I still want that three finger or four finger swipe to go between virtual desktops. That would be killer. We still have our command prompt. The new command prompt, you notice that it is transparent. It also supports word wrap, which is glorious. You can click on the system menu and go to properties and under experimental see some different things that you can change including the ability to copy paste. Notice also in this build alt enter. This is really significant for those of us who spend a lot of our time at the command prompt. Alt enter we have full screen now so let's try this. Here's the real experiment isn't it? Here's a desktop. Here's a virtual desktop. I'm making the console full screen. Check that out people. Build 9879 of the Windows 10 Technical Preview. I can be over here, perhaps in Visual Studio. Switch desktops into a full screen situation. Let's make sure that uh, Visual Studio launches on this screen. When an application launches, it stays on the screen that it launches on. So here's Visual Studio. And then over here, a full screen command prompt. It's about time. That is fantastic. One other weird thing that was discovered is uh, deep in the registry in uh, HKey Local Machine Software, Microsoft Windows current version, Immersive Shell, now you know you've got this option to have your start menu. You can right click on that and personalize. You can also right click on it and say properties. And when you do that, you have the option to say, use the start screen versus the start menu. All right. But you can come in here and say, use experience one. Oh, by the way, I also noticed this here, change mobile broadband setting, a very strange place for that to be under start menu. Then you end up over here. Very odd. But this is showing in my mind a convergence. This is just speculation here between the start menu and the start screen, which is almost a convergence between Explorer and the start screen. By that I mean this is Explorer, Windows Explorer. All right. Yep, look like I've angered it now. This will be a good opportunity to reset it anyway. I'm going to change use experience to one and then I'm going to bring up the task manager. And I am going to Windows we're going to actually lose Explorer here. This is good because I want to restart Explorer. I've just restarted Explorer with that new registry key and we get this bizarre kind of half completed uh, almost implement almost re-implementation of the start menu. But again speculation on my part this indicates I would be able to click on that I think and go to the start screen. If you look in the task manager I see Windows Shell Experience Host, you see that default icon? That's an icon that you get when you make a Windows Universal app uh, by itself without setting the icon. I think what's happening is when you click here, this taskbar is still Explorer. This window is still the start, uh, is this application, a re-implementation of the start menu. And this means a, a much, at least an, an attempt, let's say, at an, an easier way to switch between the start menu and the start screen that marks to me convergence coming. I really think that would be cool. I could click this, it would go to a start menu, I click it again, I go to, to this, because I don't want to have to restart or log in or log out to uh, to switch around. So that may, that means from my perspective only good things uh, as I as I have my Surface Pro and things that I like to move uh, move between. So let's blow that away. This is what's great about being a an insider like we all are if you've signed up for the insider program uh, is you get to try this kind of crazy stuff definitely don't do this at home I just restarted Explorer and you'll notice 
we're back. So things are marching forward. It's looking pretty slick to me. One other thing worth pointing out, go to the Start menu and type Insider. You get this Insider Hub application. This is great. Look at this. Known problems, changes based. Now let's click on that. What are some changes here? Oh, see, look, they mentioned the hamburger. So I should have looked here before I started the thing. Uh, improvements to the program, crashes and hangs, all this kind of stuff. They're, they're making us kind of all uh, temporary employees, which is kind of cool. This is really cool. They also include these things called missions. And when you click on a mission, they say, try these different things and let us know what you think. Very, very cool stuff. This is build 9879 of the Windows 10 Technical Preview. Of course, you can go out there and uh, if you like, Google with Bing, find Windows Technical Preview, sign up, and uh, maybe take an extra laptop or a desktop or a machine that you have lying around and join the team. Uh, again, check out my YouTube channel here. Explore. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. And we'll see you again next build.